it's go time. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? This time flow is really messing up my flow, but what up my people? Um, <laughs> thank you more than anything for coming back with me. And I just want to say, like, I really appreciate you guys' feedback. I always encourage you guys to let them, let me know like what I could do better. It does not at all hurt my feelings. It's actually helpful to me. It's like a gold mine. And this is for you guys. And you should be able to get what you want out of the show that you watch. But um, thank you one more time for being here. If you have not, <laughs> I encourage you to watch my last video so when that midnight come, come on a creeping like three o'clock four o'clock in the morning and you're bored and you're lonely and you're feeling all the feels and <laughs> you feel like calling that person don't do it don't you do it um, do something go take a shower go call your best friend if you don't have one I don't know go go watch them some infomercials something keep your mind off of it stay busy uh, and um, now today we're talking about a more serious subject and it's getting a job what tips do I have on someone for someone who's looking for a job Oof, I know the feeling and nothing wrong with graduating you can't find a job or there's nothing worse I mean than graduating and you can't find a job or maybe you're in a job you're not satisfied with and you want to change careers or you want you feel like you deserve better and I believe you do I always believe you deserve better and or maybe I don't know you haven't had a job in a while it's time to get back to looking advice I have look everywhere keep your eyes open um, on the internet you always you have a mobile device everybody has one you have a mini computer in your hand at all times that is perfect for looking for a job there's a lot of jobs online that you have to file for there's a website called indeed it is great it's great 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 for people who are looking for jobs but what I encourage you to do is first of all you need a resume so that it you give people details about you who you are what you've done um, career-wise professionally what you're engaged in that would be important to them get yourself a resume if you don't have a computer there's a library it's free um, once you get yourself a resume you go online apply online for different jobs and you can also go in person it's always better to meet the person always better to meet the manager there's a lot of people who get jobs on the spot like that by just you know going up and saying hey I'd like to speak to the manager what's available or you see a sign for something that's available and you go but make sure you're presentable first impression is key it doesn't matter what kind of job you're looking for it doesn't matter if you are trying to work at a fast food restaurant or you are trying to apply at a like a big corporation you need to look presentable so if you don't have a suit if you don't have a dress shirt everybody needs one if you don't have dress pants you need to get you one once you and after you apply for those jobs online I encourage you to call them don't wait for them to call you because a lot of times you know they forget about you or maybe they're looking for other people but once you call them they might even like schedule an appointment with you right then and there because I'm already on the phone with you why do I have to go fish for someone else fish through a whole lot of other resumes just to find someone that I'm looking for also what kind of job are you looking for because a lot of jobs nowadays they do require a certain certification a certain degree make sure you're applying for jobs that you qualify for I know <laughs> it's very tempting to go for a job that requires a BSN degree when you don't even have an associates or that's what you do have you have to make sure because it's really a waste of your time in theirs because you're applying for something that they're not even gonna look at for like more than two seconds when they see that you don't have that and if you do feel like you do want a higher um, quality job 
go back to school. I encourage people to get a degree. I know a lot of people say school's not for everyone, or not necessarily everybody have. You don't necessarily have to have a degree to have a business or be in a good position. Word of mouth and connection, all of that works. It does. But if you want a higher chance at getting a good job, go to school. Because the reality is, when you have that paper that you're presenting, I forgot what someone said it was called. Something about having a sheep skin or whatever. Something like that. If you have it, it's better to have it than not to have it. That doesn't have to be your primary goal. Your goal could be to have your own business. I understand that. And while you're working towards that, if you can go to school, do it. Not everyone can for specific reasons. Maybe you have children or maybe the... Why couldn't you go to school? Maybe you have children. Maybe you have other responsibilities that's preventing that. Maybe you don't have the finances for that. There's a lot of reasons why people can't go to school. Or maybe you need to get your diploma first. Do it. I know there's a lot of school that allow you to um, get the book at home. And um, once you finish the book, you send it back to them. You pay for it and you give all your previous, you give all whatever they require for you to show them. You show them your ID or whatever and you get your diploma. Once you get your diploma, you can go to a college and a university and eventually, boom, you built your entire life. And you can do it. Don't wait for the new year. I know we're coming up on new year. Don't wait for the new year. That's a big mistake a lot of people make. I'm going to wait for this time to do this thing. Do it now. Now, 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 now is always the time. Google. You always have a computer. If you can be on Facebook, you can be on Google. If you can be on social media, you can be on Google. Whatever outlet you're using, you can be Googling things that's going to be important to you, that's going to make a difference. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with social media because I'm always on there. <laughs> but you do need to, um, you know, find your priorities. You can always be on Facebook always see somebody's pictures you can always post those selfies but this is something that's very important so if you are looking for a job so for them everywhere do walk-ins make sure you are clean and shaven because the reality is a lot of people those people who are hiring they do judge based on looks um, make sure you have copies of your resume and if you go attending a school there's a lot of schools I know that have career advising areas where they help you um, create a good resume. And there are different resumes for different um, jobs. For example, if you're looking for, um, if you're making a resume for a hospital or if you're making a resume for something else, those would kind of look differently, believe me. There, it, that actually is a thing. That's like I never left. Um, okay, I'm going to continue from here. I know I said that um, you should have work clothing, and you should, but if you can't afford it, there are a lot of places that actually donate to people who are actively looking for jobs. So explore those options and, you know, keep your head up because I know it can be frustrating. Don't give up on the process and let me know if I did help you. Please let me know when you do find that great job. And thank you again for watching. Thank you guys for being here. I can't wait to see you next week. We are going to talk about um, while you're not working or if you're looking for extra income, ways to go about getting that. And a lot of them are free. And the options are real. There is no gimmick. There is no, um, no cash to them. So stay tuned for next week. But I will be talking about that and don't forget like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, and I'll see you next time.